Bell Films and Photography presents the Southern United Railroad Audio Stories. Today's story is called Sun Kinks. A heat wave was making life for all the engines difficult. The sun beamed down on them as they worked. And because it was summer, they had extra work they had to do. Because of the extreme hot weather, Mr. Egan decided to have Roger and Amber take turns patrolling the line looking for sun kinks. Sun kinks can occur on railroads in extreme hot weather, and it could bend the tracks. And if an engine rolls over it, they could have a derailment. However, Amber and Roger can't catch everything. So Mr. Egan put out a speed restriction for all trains on all the lines. At the repair shops, Rodney was grumbling to Larry while he was getting ready to pick up some coal. I don't know why we gotta have these speed restrictions, Rodney said to Larry crossly. You know how rare sun kinks are? Just because they're rare doesn't mean they can't happen, Larry replied. I just think a speed restriction is so necessary. It's already hot, and now they're forcing us to go slower? It doesn't matter what time of the year it is, Larry said to Rodney. In freezing cold or in beaming hot sun, you have to take care in extreme weather conditions. Honestly, he added, I'd rather burn up than freeze. Rodney Sue made his way to Denville and began loading his coal cars. But there was a problem. The yard manager walked up. Where's your caboose? He asked. Caboose, said Rodney. What caboose? They didn't tell you before you left the works, said the yard manager. Tell us what? Rodney asked, perplexed. That you were to bring your own caboose here because we don't have any in the yard for you. What? snapped Rodney. He was furious. Sean Dewan laughed. They thought the situation was very funny. Don't worry, said the yard manager. We can have Taylor bring one down on her next train. She's headed for the seaport. We can stop her when she gets to the works. I'm not waiting, grumbled Rodney. I'm already running late. So Rodney, with another thought, pushed the coal cars up the line. Slow down, shouted Rodney's driver angrily. But Rodney wasn't listening. They rounded the curve, and Rodney's driver looked out of the cab. Past the coal cars in front of them, he saw a sun kink. Oh no, he cried, stop, look out. He quickly shut off steam and slammed on the brakes. However, it was too late. Crash! The coal cars hit the sun kink and derailed. Coal flew everywhere and landed all over Rodney. And Milton, who was waiting at a red signal nearby. You little four-wheel slope back tendered idiot, snapped Milton. You ruined my paint, and now I'm stuck. Andrew was soon called in with the breakdown crane. He also brought Mr. Egan along with him. Well, said Mr. Regan, I see you don't like taking care when there are speed restrictions. Rodney didn't say anything. Well, said Mr. Regan, I got a way to teach you to be more careful during extreme heat. And you know what? I really have to say that the punishment literally did fit the crime. For the last two days of the heat wave, Mr. Regan had Rodney take the inspection train looking for sun kinks. He hated it. But I'm pretty sure this will teach Rodney to take care in extreme weather conditions and to obey speed restrictions. Don't you agree?